to another Create a Sim video. My name is Kelly, also known as the Simpsonista, and I am so glad to meet you. Thanks for tuning in today. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome in. I am so glad to have you. Just know that we're friends now. If this is not your first time, then hey, friend, you already know what it is. <laughs> And I'm definitely glad to have you back. So in today's video, I decided I wanted to do something a little different. I was in the mood to create a sim, um, just really make her cute and give her some cute outfits. I did get to go to the Beyonce concert in Houston. So I'm just really on cute and stunning vibes right now because the show was absolutely amazing so I was just in a mood to dress something up and didn't actually want to dress up myself so we got to dress up a sim so I decided to create sort of like a model sim I don't know exactly what I'll use her for so if you have any ideas please do let me know but I know sometimes these model sims are used for like cc um showcases or um what are you, what you call it um lookbooks yes lookbooks is what I was thinking so I don't know exactly what I'll do maybe I'll like her enough I did really like her and I'll find something um to do a let's play for her with but I, yeah I don't know yet so I'm thinking she'll be more of like a model kind of like a famous sim um so I did give her some of those traits so I did want to make her different than some of the other Sims that I've been creating already. So I did finally give her braids. I, I've kind of been dying to give one of my Sims braids, but it just didn't quite fit her face. And I don't think I had this one um, downloaded at the time. I did get a little bit more CC. I do have a problem with CC shopping. My computer memory is probably going to kill me eventually, but until then, we'll keep going. <laughs> so I did finally settle on a braided hairstyle. They reminded me of like boho braids, which I do think that is what it's supposed to be. So I was super excited because I love those in real life and I do them kind of often actually I, I just took some down not too long ago <laughs> so definitely love those and then I went in looking at some of the skin details so I am trying to get better with using the details to make a more unique sim um I'm not going to say I'm an expert at it because I'm not, obviously, but I did want to make, you know, her face look, you know, more unique and defined, but still having that sim look. I didn't want it to be um, too realistic, but just, you know, enough to make her, you know, cute and have a, a, a personality as well. So I decided to go ahead and move on to the first outfit. So I don't really have a rhyme or reason when I'm creating sims I kind of just keep trying things out until something sticks and I landed on this outfit this outfit is kind of outside my comfort zone which is why I really liked it not sure I could pull something like this off in real life but it was super fun in doing the sims I thought it was super cute and it was like um model sporty chic to me so this one was fun and then i'm just playing with accessories now i know i just said i had a problem and that i do a lot of cc shopping but for some reason my accessories are still lacking a bit um i think my earrings collection is pretty good but i need i would love some more yeah i need some more bracelets and that kind of stuff maybe some more rings because I did kind of use the same rings and there's a set to one of the bracelets so I did use that bracelet and earring set um and I think it came with a ring as well so I, I definitely need some more <laughs> okay want some more 
I know that word need is a lot. And then I decided I want to change your eyes. Um, so uh, now it's coming to me and I'm like, okay, I changed your eyes. I'm going to have to remember to change your eyes on every single outfit, every single outfit. So before I did that, I did start playing with her lips a little bit. I, I thought <laughs> very briefly, I thought I was going to, you know, create her lips myself and I hated it. And then I said, Kelly, you downloaded presets for a reason. And here we are picking a preset. So I picked a preset that I liked a little bit better so that the lipstick or in this case, I was looking for a lip gloss kind of fit a bit better. So I do think these lips worked a little bit better. And then here I am looking at the accessories. Definitely have to give her lashes. I love lashes. Um, I didn't want to make them too dramatic, but she is a model. So uh, yeah, a little dramatic, a little bit, because this is more of an everyday look. So when I do make my Sims, I do try to make the everyday look look like something they can wear every day. Not so much dressed up in my opinion so i was like you know the cute little t-shirt and jeans is, is chic and sporty but also like yeah a model would probably rock this so this is the piece where i just went ahead and did the eyes on all the outfits before i forgot and then i i so struggled with her formal i really considered doing that dress with the flowers and i i believe i went back to it a couple of times because i was like let's just do it but i i don't know guys i don't wear a lot of floral print in real life i i know this is the sims and i know i live out lives i don't live normally in the sims and this is what i use it for but for some reason it felt so outside of myself to give her that floral dress. Do not ask me why, because I would not have a answer. I promise you I would not have an answer. But here we are. <laughs> um, so I didn't pick that dress. I instead found this gorgeous black dress. Um, I love it. I love the off the shoulder detail, thought it was super cute. And now I'm picking jewelry. And again, jewelry, I, I, I could use a little bit more. I definitely could use a little bit more jewelry. And then I thought, okay, this is formal, more elegant. Maybe we'll pull the hair up. So I thought this kind of wavy, and I do go back to the wavy one, was better suited for a more elegant look. And I love that too. So it's almost like, you know, she put her curls up and... Yeah, okay, I know it's not 100% perfect, but I thought it was cute and more formal and we can change it up for special occasions. <laughs> um, and this, you know, I did struggle a bit with the makeup. And as you can see here, I did define her cheekbones a lot more in the beginning. Cause like I said, I was trying to do more skin details, you know, make a unique looking sim. But for some reason, I just could not, I just couldn't leave it. So as you see, they just magically disappeared. Um, when it's sped up, it's hard to see. So I know I did it. So I could tell you I did it. And now you can probably see that it's gone. But yeah, um, the bone structure was just a little too structured for me for this sim. So I did go ahead and take that off. And then I did like that with her hair pulled up, you can see her earrings more because with her hair down, you can see them at certain angles, but you know, not all of them. So it was nice to have that difference. And then for her um, sportswear or her workout wear, I thought, you know, let's do all white. That just seems so model-esque to me and it's clean i loved it and we had of course had to put her hair up so this one i had to make it a little different it wasn't curled we just put our hair up because we're going to work out we're cute regardless but you know you're not going to curl your hair to go work out and then i, I kind of was stuck on the white theme i lost it after this but <laughs> well yeah i did lose it right after this but it comes back it does come back um i was stuck on the white theme I love the little space buns, the braided space buns. So I definitely chose those. And I really like this outfit. I like so many 
of the swatches on this dress, this blazer dress. But I was like, no, she's a model. She's gonna be adventurous. She's gonna, she's gonna try something. We're gonna do the two tone. So shout out to this creator because this, oh, I, I love this outfit. I, I would probably wear this in real life for sure, for sure. It's gorgeous with the belt. It, yeah, loved it. Um, yeah. I may use this a couple more times on a couple more sims. I'm going to try to space it out so you guys forget. <laughs> but there's there's so many pieces that I love and have so many cute swatches. It's like, do I give the, hmm, do I give the same sim multiple or do I give like multiple outfits or do I give multiple sims the same outfits in different colors? Let me know in the comments because I don't know about you in real life. If there's something you like or, okay, I'll speak for me. If there's something I like a lot, I do get multiple colors. So, you know, it could just be, you know, they have multiple outfits. Let me, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Because any excuse to use different swatches at this point, I, I'm going to be happy with. I, I can live with either of those outcomes. Just 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 let let your girl know. Just let your girl know. Same with this swimsuit. Oh my gosh. So the swatches were so cute. So as you see, I started off with the brown, then I switched to this blue teal-ish color. Oh my gosh. I like so many of the swatches. And I'm like, there's gotta be a way I can use more than one. <laughs> So maybe that is what I'll do. Maybe I'll give them more than one outfit. So like two swimwears, I can do another somewhere with the brown. But then it's like, Kelly, you made this to be a model sim. She's going to have different outfits. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is it worth it? I'm not sure if I'm playing with her yet, even though she's super, super cute. But I love these outfits. I really do. And I was really trying to go out of my comfort zone with some of these. I, for example, the cold weather one, once we get to that, I was like, let's try something a bit different because I am used to doing the same things. You know, we all have our habits. And so on the hot weather outfit, I did return to the white theme. I thought this was cute. I hope you guys agree. <laughs> But once I saw this bodysuit, I was like, oh, yes, I love this. Especially if it goes, I really like those shorts. I did like those shorts. And I'm still debating on those shorts. But I do think that this skirt is super cute. So I am not mad at it at all. The shoes definitely had to go with some heels with this one it completes the girly vibe look and then as far as her accessories i really wanted to pull in the hearts if you guys can't tell there are little hearts on her bodysuit so i was like okay we're pulling in the hearts in the silver i think this is the only outfit i pulled in silver i'm kind of a gold jewelry girly so it is carrying over in my sims but this one i was like no this is definitely silver and we're gonna make it cute. So I do give her silver accessories, which was fun and definitely kind of struggled with picking her makeup in this one. I wanted it to be model-esque, but also simple, but um, I figured it out <laughs> and then the little heart necklace. So this one was kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say a fluke, but it was lucky. I definitely didn't plan this one at all. I just started kind of looking at the tops and came across this swatch. And I was like, oh, yeah, we're doing that. So definitely had to find some boots for her to wear. Although they are heeled booties. I definitely wanted to make sure they weren't clipping. But I love that these black boots had a little bit of that brown in them. So kind of pull in the whole vibe. At least I thought. Maybe I, did I go with those? I think so. <laughs> and then when I was thinking about her aspiration, at first I was thinking of giving her the creative um, aspiration, but then I realized, no, she's a model. She's going to be famous. So I don't know. I considered her being an actress, um, 
but I didn't know if I wanted to do a whole career. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to play with her at all. She does not currently have a house. She is just currently saved in my library, but who knows? She could definitely turn into more. So let me know what you think. And thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video as I create Jade Brooks. I thought she was super cute. Um, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to help my channel out. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.